Jen here. I am getting ready to make another batch of soap. This one is another remake. Well, it's not a remake. I said that in the last video. Uh, this is for a wholesale order. Um, I will be doing some remakes today as well, but I thought I would make a video for this one anyways. Um, this is the Daisy Dream Girl soap. So I thought I'd bring you guys along uh, when I made it. So you guys can get another video. Um, now, don't forget, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do so. I will be having a giveaway once we reach 40,000 subscribers. We are actually not too far from that number. Um, so everybody that watches, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you like my videos, I try my best. Um, anyways, off we go. This is, I'm going to do a white base, three colors of pink, purple, and blue. Um, and then we're going to have the pretty embeds on top. I can get this out of here. That soap has been made and done. We're going to give this a quick judge just to break up the rest pieces. Just like that. I don't need to break them all completely down right now because they will continue to melt. Now, I'm going to buzz up. I've got some embeds uh, on my counter here from the last batch. We're going to give this a buzz to mix in our additive. get to make an unboxing video from our June mystery boxes because I actually did not have enough products. I like literally had none left over to make an extra box like I tr generally try to do and show you guys. So I apologize for that. Um, but one of my customers, Angie Handlin, she is on YouTube, it's like she posted her first video to do the unboxing. Um, so I did share it to my YouTube channel uh, in the community section. So you guys can head over there and you can see what the June mystery box looked like. Also, I believe Nicole from Stargazer's Luxuries is going to be doing a video as well um, but she's actually in the middle of moving so it may be a couple of weeks before she gets her video done um, so yeah but she said she'd love to do she ordered one of the June boxes um, so you guys don't forget to head over and order the July mystery box we have a different color theme every month so um yeah don't forget to do that we're always excited for our boxes holy toledo at the mess i'm making but it's okay I don't want a whole lot of colors. Um, I want light. More of this to be white than anything. And then we have, I'll start with pink. I'm gonna use carnation pink. It's a beautiful pink. As you can see, I didn't use a whole lot. You can see on the top of my spoon here how much I dipped out. Not a ton. Then we're going to do magic purple. Same. 
And then we're gonna do denim blue. We finally got this back in stock at Bee Scented. It is one of our most popular blues. It gives such a deep, nice blue. So we're gonna give these a quick stir. I'm trying to hurry a little bit because my husband's gonna be calling in like 15 minutes and I don't wanna cut the video short. So I wanna get this soap done and made. He calls me every day on his dinner break, which I love. All of those are done. Let me grab my molds. Um, I like doing her this specific customer's order in the two pound molds. They hold a little over two pounds um, when they're full. I like doing hers because she likes 16 bars. So, um, she does one inch bars so I don't even I don't cut in pieces nothing like that um, and each one of these gets eight so I know she gets 16 full bars of soap so I like using these just because you have this size mold doesn't mean you can't make a bigger batch just means that you uh, use more than one mold A little bit more in this one. Then we're going to add our colors. And then we're going to add a little bit more white on top and then I'm going to swirl this. As you can see, I really didn't use a lot of color, but you'll notice when I do go and cut this soap that it'll have plenty of color inside. And I'm going to leave some uh, on top, or some to dollop on top. Not a lot. Figured that out with my last batch that I left entirely too much. <laughs> Alright, let me grab my little skewer I have in here. I'm gonna give these a quick swirl. Yeah, what do you want? All right, guys, I'll pause you guys and bring you back in a minute. Hey, guys. What, Noah? Go ahead. If you don't put lye in it, will it not wash your body? No, not really. If you don't put lye in it, it doesn't do anything. Um, it, it just sits there? Well, it just is still oils and butters. It doesn't turn into soap. So, um, you have to use lye to turn the oils and the butters into soap. It's a saponification process. It's a chemical reaction that happens. How do you make soap? Well, you have to use a soap calculator to calculate what you're wanting to use. And then uh, you decide if you want to use what kind of oils and what kind of butters you want to use for your soap. 
and you put them in your soap calculator with the amounts that you need uh, for the size of the mold that you're going to use and then the calculator will tell you how much water and how much lye you need to turn that amount of oils into soap and then you always super fat which means you leave some of the oils out uh, they don't turn into soap they stay the oil even though the soap still hardens you have a certain percent of the soap that stays like an oil. I want one. No, not yet. Yeah, do you have some of those, mate? Do you? Three. Four. I may only get seven bars. Yeah, I have some of those made. Can I have one? Mama. You want to use all of my soaps? No, I just want two. That's all I want. That's two. So I can't squish them all in here. It's going to be a tight fit. It's just the shape of the flower. That they made it? That you made it of? Mm-hmm. How do you make them? Well, I have a little bitty mold that I use to make them. Where is it? Uh, in my cabinet. In my soapy cabinet. Where is your soapy? That one over there. That white one. This way? Mm-hmm. Oh, you have a big door. Mm-hmm. What does it look like? Is it white? You make them out of these, Mama? Yeah. You use molds like that. When are you going to use the Christmas one? Alright guys, I don't think I'm going to put any more on there. I think we're just going to leave it just like that. We'll bring you back for the cutting. Hey guys, I am back to cut the daisy soap. And this one, I'm not even going to look at marks. I'm going to cut it right between all of these embeds. Because otherwise... I'm going to cut it all to pieces if I don't. It won't look pretty. Ooh, look at the swirls. That's gorgeous. The little top is super cute on this bar. I just love it. How pretty the swirls are. Let me turn the light on. Make sure we got all the lighting. Oh, didn't even think about that. I'm sorry. My last video is probably super dark. Because I wasn't even paying attention. Ooh, 
that's beautiful, guys. I'm a little jealous of this soap. <laughs> I don't know if you have one or not. You said I could have one more, didn't you? Yeah, did you get it? Yeah. Well. I lost my Ugh. This soap turned out absolutely beautiful. Turned out really pretty, Austin. Which one is that? Daisy Dream Girl. Daisy Dream? Yeah, it's for a wholesale order. Daisy. You can see it? Isn't that pretty? Oh, I want to smell. It's very girly. It smells like watermelon. Mm -hmm, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It smells like watermelon. Well, I guess it does kind of have a watermelon scent. I want to smell. Hold on, I'll get this bar here. It kind of does have a watermelon scent. Don't it? Mm -hmm. I'm, I want to smell it again. How do you know you're cutting it the right way? The right way? There's a mark on the cutter. Alright guys, thanks for watching.